Peace everyone, welcome back again to the Drawing Journal. All right, so as you can see, I'm still playing around with the powder blender and the project that I started on Monday. Uh, I just wanted to keep doing it on camera, on the live stream, because I know a lot of people have been uh, interested in the powder blender and seeing how it works. And so far we have two layers down Hello, Raf. Uh, thanks for coming by the live stream. And so today we're going to hopefully put on layer three and layer four. And I'm going to ignore the tabletop for today. And I'm going to try to finish off this background part because I, I want the table to come away from the background a little bit. So I want some fine separation right there. Uh, so I'm going to work on just this backdrop today. And um, I've already. So just to clarify what I've done so far, uh, if you missed the first live stream, I am working on the Canson Mitenta Touch paper, and I did a layer of, of the powder blender, and then I did the first initial layer of colored pencil. I blended it out with a little bit more of the powder blender, and then I sprayed it with the ACP textured fixative, uh, then I applied more powder blender and more pencil, blended it, and more ACP textured fixative. So that's where we're at so far. Just two layers of colored pencils, two layers of the ACP textured fixative. Um, so today uh, I've already prepped the surface with some powder blender, and now I'm going to just put a layer of colored pencil down real lightly. I'm going to start with this yellow color to bring in some of this yellow into the background that I've been wanting. And uh, one of the issues that I noticed uh, previously was this, this um, what is this? This is that paint on, uh, oh wow, I forget the name. I forget the name of what this is. <laughs> it's the masking fluid. That's it, masking fluid. And... Um, it was warping the paper, but now today the paper's not warped, um, so it's it's looking pretty good. So I'm I'm glad to to see that the paper's not as warped. Uh, you might be able to notice there's a little bit of of wrinkling of the paper around the edges, and that's actually because of the ACP textured fixative. Um, so you can see I put a fresh fresh layer of tape down uh, so that the paper's nice and secure. However, if you if you don't want your paper paper to, to ripple, um, you're gonna want to mount it onto a board. So, uh, just just so you know. Um, and one of the other things I wanted to clarify from yesterday. So Aliona messaged me on Facebook. She came across my my live stream, um, and she wanted me to to mention that the textured fixative. Now I've been going outside to spray it which the only reason I'm doing that is because it's nice and warm out there and I want it to dry faster. And plus my, my room is really confined. Um, the ACP textured fixative is non-toxic. You, you can spray it indoors. Like I, like I said um, a couple days ago on the previous live stream, uh, the, uh, the, the textured fixative is basically hairspray. Like it doesn't really have much of a scent to it. Um, I've sprayed it inside plenty of times. Um, it doesn't give you a headache or anything like that. There's no side effect to it, so uh, you're, it's, you don't have to carry your work outside to spray it. That's that's all I wanted to let you guys know. Uh, and I, the only reason I was doing it, one, I didn't want this sound of me shaking the can all in the microphone and stuff like that. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, other than that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else left to clarify. Uh, let me see who's in the chat real quick. Uh, hello, Wendy. Um, Stephanie, hello. Vignac, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are at. Uh, yes, so um, not a lot has happened. Uh, 
in the past couple days because I don't normally do a drawing journal on Wednesdays, but I wanted to, I really wanted to work on this. I wanted to play around with the textured fixative and the powder blender more. And, and I didn't want to do it off camera. Um, so I'm deciding just going to throw in another live stream today. Uh, but something exciting, I did get something very exciting uh, uh, yesterday. So hold on a second. Let me, let me get it. I don't think there's anything here, really. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to cover up some information. But I got my Polish ID, uh, which I'm super excited about. Um, Anna and I, we picked that up yesterday. Uh, we were both very excited because it's a, it's a really big deal that I have my Polish ID. Uh, now I can travel around all of Europe just almost as though I'm a European citizen, but more, I, I'm a Europe, I'm a, a resident of the European Union, so it lets me travel around um, freely. Uh, which is just an awesome feeling. Uh, it's hard to believe that it's only been a little over a year since I've moved to Poland and uh, to already have my ID and just everything that's happened in the past year has been very exciting. Um, anyway, so getting back to this, this drawing here, I just wanted to share that with everybody because, you know, um, I just... And excited about it and actually I was going to share it on Facebook yesterday but I kind of forgot <laughs> it was so hot um, actually it's it is extremely hot right now um, and it's it's tough to sit here but uh, I'm gonna tough it out and it, it was it was like 40 degrees yesterday and it was just unbearably hot uh, so I forgot to share that I got my my Polish ID but uh, thank you, thank you for the congratulations. Hello, Anna. Um, glad to see you in the live stream again. Okay, now that I laid down some of that yellow, I want to go through. I want to add a little bit of this green. Uh, I wanted to get some green into the background to complement the red of the apple. So I'm just going to throw in some of this green around the edges here. And it's also going to like tone down some of the red that is showing up in the background because the background actually looks really red. It's it's interesting how the the colors of the pencils are are changing a little bit as opposed to blending them with uh, paint thinner or blending them by burnishing. Blending it with the, the powder blender gives you a, much more of a translucent color, um, with especially with these polychromos pencils, since they're already very, very translucent. So I'm hoping with this, this layer here, uh, I'll be able to get a, a bit more value in the back because I, I want these edges to be almost like pure black and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to press too hard with the pencil and not be able to blend out um, but hopefully it, it hopefully I can get the results that I'm looking for it's it's all of it it's all an experiment at this point and uh, I haven't really gotten this far with the powder blender before with previous attempts when I tried with the luminance, so. <clears throat> oh, Anna, you can take like, you know, you can take 20 degrees if you want. So leave us 20, you can have 20 and spend it any way you want. <clears throat> I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty cold up there in Finland when Anna and I visit. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, thank you, Anne, and hello, Poppy, uh, Santiago. Uh, good morning. Thank you for the congratulations. 
Also, you got the new Pro Color pencils. That's that's very exciting. I you know I emailed, I emailed uh, Derwent, um, and they never responded to me. Like they never, like not even a, a notice that they got my email or anything. So um, I don't know if they're gonna send me any of the Pro Color pencils. It would be very cool if they did. If they answer my email. If anybody. If anybody happens to know a better email address um, for Derwent uh, as opposed to the one on their website because that's where I got it and it was like uh, relations like public relations or something like that that I emailed but I wasn't I wasn't quite sure who to email but if somebody has like a, a more direct email address you know that'd be really cool if you shared it with me I'm sure uh, I'm sure there's a few people that I know that I can ask over on Facebook, but if you if you happen to have a better email address than the one on the website, um, then send it to me on Facebook. That'd be really cool. Wow, it's not even not even 15 degrees. That's that's pretty cold, um, and raining. Yeah, that's you know it looks like it's about to rain today, which kind of stinks because I have to go into Katowice. So hopefully, hopefully it holds off until at least I get back. But it looks like it's going to rain today for sure. But it doesn't feel like it. Oh my gosh! Usually, it usually there's a nice cool breeze and it cools down really quickly right before it rains. But it is not giving me a break today. It is just very, very hot. Okay, now I'm going through the edges with the black, and hopefully with this layer, I'll get a bit more value on, on the background here. I, I think if this, if this becomes a bit too translucent and I spray it, then I think what I'm, I might try is just adding a bit more pressure and seeing if I can still properly blend out all the the pencil stroke texture and stuff like that because I, I really want I really want the uh, the background to be covered completely and I can still see paper I can still see plenty of the paper texture and the translucency of the colors is kind of driving me nuts right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out. I'm gonna take my little blendy brush and tap it with a bit of the powder blender. And I'm gonna start in the light areas first. Okay, now I'm starting to really, really like it. So, um, gosh, it, wow, that, that really, really turned out amazing. Um, so this is the third layer, and it, it just it turned basically into what looks like pastel. It just looks fantastic. It's, like, it's just, it looks better with every layer. So I have really high hopes for this part, the darker areas. But it's getting really, really soft looking, which I am really enjoying. And it's giving me the glow that I was looking for. I wanted a nice glow of this yellow right around the apple. Okay, now I'm gonna add a bit more. I'm gonna come in right here and blend out the green And I'm just getting rid of all of the pencil strokes. They're just going away like magic. Now I want to kind of transition between those yellows, that yellow and that, this green here. Just get a nice consistent gradient between the two before jumping into the black. Sorry, I've, 
I've been neglecting the the chat. Give me a give me a minute to blend this out. Uh, once I blend this out, I gotta go spray it anyway, and then I'll I'll chat with you guys for for a bit while we wait for the um, textured fixative to dry. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna go into the black here and see see how dark I can get it. It's kind of a black and green. Even after doing this all day Monday, I'm still like, I'm still baffled by how fun this this is. Like, just how interesting and unique the experience of blending like this is. Because it didn't work. I mentioned it before, but it did not work anything like this when I tried it for the first time because I was trying it with the luminance pencils. But now that I have the polychromos, it just seems to work. It's fantastic. Now I want to try to get the best transition that I can in between all of these colors. But I don't want to get rid of my bright spot. Try to clean off my brush a little bit. Oh no, it, it tore. My brush, my brush tore a little bit. All right, I'm gonna just try to go soft and get it to blend more consistently. I keep kind of pulling in some of the green into my lighter areas, trying to keep it away. It, it acts a lot like it acts a lot like soft pastels with the dust wanting to to just move across the page so it has it's very consistent um, or it's, it's very comparable to to blending pastels that it's kind of delicate um, it's it smooths out really nicely and you have this this kind of powder that you can actually blow away um, to get rid of the excess. It just turns the, the pencil kind of into a, a, a movable powder, just like pastels. And I, I do like the, um, the look of, the look of the background now. Now I want, I don't want the background to be like perfectly smooth. I want some kind of um, like aging texture. So I'm just gonna take this brush and kind of create these like vertical lines. And it's just, it's just gonna kind of create like a, a broken up pattern in into the background so that I have a little bit of texture there. Kind of like, not necessarily wood grain, but kind of like aged paint. Because I, I want it to be kind of broken up. There we go. I think that looks, that looks pretty good, I think. Oh, that's a good question. After blending with the sp sponge, does finger blending work like pastels? You know what? I am going to have to 
I'm gonna have to say that likely uh, it doesn't work like pastels. I don't want to try it because of what I'm afraid of is our fingers have like an oil on them and that might like wet the paper too much and what you'll end up doing is the, the it will stick there rather than blend out. Whereas with the pastels, you have a you have a lot more dust with the pastels, so your fingers kind of get filled up with the dust. You know what? I bet, I bet that if you touched your finger on some of the powder, because if you've ever touched this powder, it, it turns your fingers into like super smooth baby fingers. And uh, I bet if you touched your finger, you could blend out with your finger then. But um, like I said, it's really hot here. My hands are kind of sticky already, so I don't want to. I don't want to sweat on my work. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this now, and we're going to give it like five minutes to um, to dry. So I will be right back. All right, so again, so we're not looking at a, my blank table. I'll just set this bear here. I'm not gonna draw on the bear or anything, but uh, <laughs> um, we'll give that some time to, uh, we'll give that some time to dry. And then what time is it? Okay, so we'll give it like five minutes or something like that. Let me catch up with this chat. You guys have been chatting it up like crazy. Um, uh, thank you, Noah. I'm glad that you uh, are liking the the painting. Oh, that's very cool, ter uh, Teresa. You're you're also working with the powder blender for the first time. Um, Mar Marway, Mar VA. Maybe it's Mar VA since you're in Poland. But uh, hello, uh, I'm glad you like my art. Getting a text message. Sorry. My wife is texting me. Um, but uh, yes, so I'm also in Poland, so you don't necessarily have to say hello from Poland since I'm already here. Let's see, what else? Um, hello, Israel. Good day. Thank you for coming to the live stream. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, yeah. It I, that seems to be uh, Wendy. That seems to be a, an issue when sometimes when I'm when I'm uh, working on a project is I can't seem to not spit on it. And today is going to be hard to work on anything and not sweat on it because it's it's actually you know it's it's funny because it's not really that hot. When I checked, it was like thirty one, which yeah, it's that's hot for me. Um, Anything over, anything over twenty four is a bit too hot for me. Um, but uh, it's really humid, which and it's also completely overcast right now. There's no sun, uh, so I'm expecting it to rain for sure uh, today. Not quite sure when, but right now it seems way too hot to to start raining. Usually almost like clockwork it gets really really uh chill like the air gets really chill and then there's a really cool breeze and then within the hour it's raining you can almost set a watch to it it's like as soon as that that cool air front comes in uh, you got about 45 minutes before it starts to rain
Yeah, uh, I'm I'm good on the desert, Israel. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I I would never be able to tolerate like the really really hot places um, like Arizona or any desert kind of place. So I don't understand how people can can live in uh, such uncomfortable conditions. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it. I said I wasn't going to draw on the bear, but now I am. <laughs> Trying to darken up some of the the background a little bit. I'll have the time lapse for this drawing eventually um, when I feel like I've I really got it done, because I, I still feel like there's there's still room for improvement here, and. I don't know. I, I What I'm not liking so far with this bear is the outer edge. I think I need to just work on the edges a bit and kind of set it into the scene. Um, I don't know. There's just something off about it to me, and I don't want to call it quits, uh, and I don't want to upload the time lapse until I, I finally decide that it that it's completely done. Yeah. Well, I have these pencils sitting in front of me and I have this drawing that I I don't uh I don't quite consider done. So it just I did, I picked up a pencil and started coloring on it without even thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand what you mean. The the desert the desert heat is certainly drier. I mean, I've been to I've been to the Middle East, so I know exactly what the dry heat is. I mean, I was in um, I was in Dubai for I don't know, like a month, and it was anywhere between like 110 and like 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not quite sure what that is Celsius. Probably around 50 something ridiculous but um, it, it wasn't that bad uh, I didn't actually I feel like I'm sweating more than I did in Dubai um, and it was like in the middle of summer so it was it was it was hot but it was very very dry extremely dry actually and um, there yeah there's definitely a huge difference between those two types of, of hot weather all right, what time is it? Okay, I think I can go out and get the 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 apple. So let's put that away. Just hang that up there, and I'll be right back. again um, hopefully so hopefully with this live stream I know that I had a couple complaints about echoing on Monday's live stream uh, so hopefully this one's a little bit better I have the microphone like as close to my mouth as possible without it being in the camera and stuff um, or being down my throat and I'm also talking a bit softer so hopefully Hopefully the audio uh, is still loud enough and there's not as much echo because, yeah. Um, uh, there are two things that I see. First, the halo that you mentioned around the bear. The second is on the right side. The black lines stick out too much. Sorry, I'm looking at the bear. <laughs> yeah, I there's plenty of room for improvement with the bear. Um, I'll probably play around with it uh, over the weekend or something like that. All right, uh, I'm, so I'm going to take some of the powder blender and just put it on the paper. I like to do it like this. I like to just tap some of it and then use the little sponge thingy to um, to spread it out. 
So now that that's there, I'm just going to spread it out like this until it completely disappears. And uh, the background is getting much darker. I like it a lot. I got some of that, that those texture lines in there and whatnot. So starting to come together, I, I suppose. And let's just, hmm, I'm gonna jump into this, this darker brown here. Which one's darker? Can't tell. This is um, 176 and this is 280. I'm gonna go with 176, so. I'm just going to do a layer of this 176 and then a layer of the black. Um, it's 220 right now. So uh, this, I'm, I may be able to get one more. <clears throat> I may be able to get uh, one more layer done today. Uh, so we might be able to do three, but I have, to, I have to run into town and do some errands. So I can't promise anything. Excuse me. All this dry weather has got my throat dry. Um, it's softer than I usually speak. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes after the live stream on it, like I feel, uh, I feel like I need to not talk for the rest of the day because. Sometimes I, you know, it non-ironically, sometimes I try to project my voice a little bit. Um, and also, you know, I get like, during the live streams, like, it's so fun for me. Like, the, 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 the live streams are like the highlight of my day. And um, so sometimes I get excited and I talk louder than what I feel like I, I normally do. But... Yeah, I, I understand the joke that uh, I'm soft-spoken. I'm I'm probably I'm probably uh, more or less soft-spoken depending on how well you know me. So, with people that know me really well, I might uh, speak with a bit more confidence. So I might speak a little bit louder than I normally do, but. Uh, yeah, I, I almost never, I almost never go through a day without having um, the response of a person, you know, having me repeat something because they didn't hear me. Uh, I mean, it, it drives Anna crazy uh, because I, when I talk to her and she doesn't hear what I say. It drives me crazy too when she doesn't hear what I say, because <laughs> I sometimes sometimes I feel like I'm screaming, but um, it uh, it doesn't come out that way. Nobody nobody uh, hears me scream when I when I feel like I am. I I mentioned it before when I was in school. My teachers drove me crazy every time they'd they'd call on me and I'd give them an answer and they'd be they'd tell me to speak louder. I, every single teacher I've ever had in my entire life told me to speak louder. I just I can't stand it. It drives me nuts when people tell me to speak louder, uh, and it makes me feel like I have to scream. And even when I feel like I'm screaming, it's never loud enough. It drives me crazy. All right, so there's that brown. I think um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add black. Actually, I, I want to add some green again because I, I don't want it to be too desaturated. So I'm gonna add some more green around the edges. Uh, hold on, let me see. What did I miss? Oh, hello, Stephen.
I forgot to I forgot to press a little bit harder on this layer to see if I could still blend it out thoroughly. So I'm I'm adding a a bit more pressure with this green. Um, hello, Eric. I don't uh, I haven't seen you in a while. I, I noticed that you were live streaming a drawing on Facebook. Um, I, I maybe earlier today or was it yesterday? I'm not quite sure. I I just happened to come across the video when you had already finished live streaming, so I, I'm not sure when when you actually streamed it. All right, now I'm going to add some black around the edges. <laughs> Can't imagine me screaming. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can even imagine myself screaming. <laughs> So, I, I know I have, I, I, I know I've screamed before, but it probably, at least to me, it was a scream. It probably didn't sound too much like a scream to the people I was screaming at. It probably just sounded like I was talking loudly. <laughs> I remember, I remember one time, so, um, I don't know why I said I remember one time, but, uh, many of you know that I was in the military, especially after, uh, watching the Colored Pencil podcast interview with Lisa and John, uh, but when I was in boot camp, there's this position called AROC, and it's the person that that screams out the uh, the marching um, the marching cadence, and I tried to I tried to be a rock, um, and it did not work. I couldn't <laughs> couldn't get loud enough for pre people right next to me to hear me, let alone the eighty people that I was marching with. All right, now I'm going to blend this layer out. And hopefully that will be it for this part of the background. I'm going to start here. I'm trying to I'm trying to do this these uh, layers a bit quicker than what I was yesterday. That way we might be able to do one more. Um, uh, yeah, we should be able to do one more. I mean, I can blend this out really quickly. I'll spray it, give it five minutes. We might even be able to do two more layers today. All right, let's get that black blended out now. All right, wipe off our sponge. And just try to feather out some of this color. You know, I see the sponge broke. It's all weird. So there's that layer. I'm going to go ahead and spray this and we'll do, we, we, we should be able to do two more layers and then I'll come back and, and, and not color on my bear anymore. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. All right, so 
When I opened the door out to my balcony, uh, I could feel the cool air, so it's most likely going to rain in the next in the next like hour or two hours for sure. Uh, anyways, <laughs> yeah, that that could be that could be the case uh, on a. I suppose people with loud, obnoxious voices struggle with silence or being quiet in a library. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I accidentally hit my table. Uh, when am I going to do pastels? So. Um, next week, next week there's going to be a tutorial over on Patreon. I'm going to do a pastel tutorial. This week on Patreon, I uh, haven't posted the tutorial yet, but this weekend, or this week, the tutorial is going to be mixed media. So it's going to be markers in colored pencils. We're just going to do uh, simple still life. I'm going to show the different techniques and the benefits of using markers. Uh, with colored pencils because if you've never tried markers with colored pencils I definitely recommend it uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing on the live stream uh, for Patreon this Friday um, I don't know uh, also also I wanted to mention that uh, this this Friday uh, Saturday so this Saturday Anna and I are planning to do a live stream uh, many of you uh, probably know that the month of August is here and so the first Saturday of every month we're gonna do do a live stream together I know you guys really enjoy that so um, yeah yep you're exactly right Wendy so this Saturday we're gonna be doing acrylic painting so uh, I have no idea what we're going to paint so if you have any ideas please let me know <laughs> because and don't say waterfall <laughs> sorry keep hitting my table um, yeah I I was trying to think of what we were going to do I don't want to do a landscape I, I don't want to do a landscape um, so uh, I don't know there's there's a whole bunch I'll have a time lapse up tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what of though. I have so many videos that uh, I, I like every week. I make like two, sometimes even three videos, and I never actually get to uh, uploading the time lapses because I do the live streams and I record. I record the live stream, and uh, I have a time lapse from it. But the only problem is. I don't um I don't do uh I don't do enough of the time lapses so I end up doing all these live streams I have all these videos that I could do time lapses of but not enough days in the week to edit them and upload them but tomorrow I have a time lapse of something that I drew probably a long time ago uh and it's just going to stay that way it's it, I mean maybe eventually if I uploaded like one video every single day of the week, uh, then I could possibly get caught up with the time lapses, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, a waterfall, yeah. <laughs> a pastel portrait. Yeah, I've been wanting to do a pastel portrait, actually. Um, I haven't quite, I haven't quite worked up the courage to do a pastel portrait, um, but I want to do something a bit more uh, advanced, a bit more attention to detail, I suppose, a bit more realistic. But uh, that's going to be for the Patreon tutorial next week. A jellyfish. That's an interesting choice. You know what I was thinking? Um, 
What I was thinking to do was actually Pokemon. So for the the painting live stream, I was thinking about doing Pokemon. I don't know if uh, you guys are aware. Hold on a second, I have an idea. Since we're just since we're just sitting here, um, looking at that bear, I have all these drawings here. Let me just get my pencils out of the way. There we go. So I have a whole bunch of, of, of drawings here. Um, many of you have seen this and I'm tired of looking at it. Can't, I can't make room for all of it. It's just falling all over the place. So I, I think I have some of our Pokemon. So there's that drawing. Uh, oh, there's this this one that I never finished. Who remembers this little bunny? I didn't do um, I didn't do a time lapse of this bunny, but I'm thinking about redrawing it and making it more realistic because this was actually like the first time that I used the Polychromos pencils, and there's there is so much room for improvement on this little guy but uh, yeah um, and then of course I got this is is this my pepper yeah I think this is my pepper and my pear um, this was a uh, this this was the um, <clears throat> coffee with friends with Jared from Kit Slam that was a fun one uh, this was another coffee with friends with uh, Claire from Black Summer Coloring. Uh, here's another one. Um, I think this one, I, f I forget who I did this one with actually, but this is another coffee with friends collaboration. Um, oh, this was that one anime uh, drawing that we all kind of collaborated with and you guys told me what colors to make what. Um, oh, this one's, this one's that I... I've shared, haven't shared for quite some time, uh, but I drew this one. I don't know. I, th I think I drew this last year, somewhere around October or something like that. Um, oh, this is one of the pictures. So I have a time lapse. I have a time lapse and a narrated tutorial for this portrait here that I never got to. Um, this this was for the video doing the the uh, textured fixative, showing how the textured fixative looks and works and things like that. Um, okay, so here's some of the Pokemon. So uh, Anna and I, we went through like this Pokemon drawing phase where we drew just a whole bunch. Here's a Snorlax. Here's a, a really cool uh, Butterfree, I think it is. Um, but I made it holding an RPG. I have no idea why. Um, here's my little Mew, and then my Dragonair. So these were these were marker drawings that Anna and I uh, did together. She, I, I think she has her Pokemon in her drawer or something like that. But um, oh, how many of you remember this drawing? So this was one of the the ten minute the ten minute painting challenges, like the first one or something like that. That was a that was definitely a fun video. Um, here's one from uh, last year, I think, uh, the Baby Groot. Uh, I think many of you probably recognize this. This was the drawing that I did uh, for Anna when I proposed. This is the original drawing of, of the ring. Uh, okay, Steven. Yeah, I, I, think, um, I think I'll do... Uh, the uh, the bunny again. I, I really like the way it came out. Uh, this is actually this is another collaboration that I did with Claire from Black Summer Coloring. Um, this was this was a Pokemon competition. So I I took two different Pokemon and and made them into one Pokemon. 
Oh my goodness, I don't think there's going to be very many people that recognize uh, this drawing here. <laughs> so you guys have to let me know who, who was around uh, on my channel when I drew this. Like, who remembers when uh, this drawing here was, was drawn? Because this was early on in my channel uh, when I was doing the weekly drawing series. I have 52 time lapses, an entire year's worth of drawing, um, and this was one of the last drawings that I did for that series. But this is marker and colored pencil. So this is the kind of effects that you can get with marker and colored pencils. And of course, I put a little goofy, uh, a goofy face on them. Uh, but yeah, that's one of my favorite drawings for sure. <laughs> Love that drawing. Uh, this was. This was the 10 minute painting challenge after I went through and finished it, like I spent more time on it. Um, so it came out pretty good. I kind of, I like the, I like the way that this one came out. Oh, this one I haven't shared in a while. This is another collaboration that I did with um, Import Autumn. Uh, so he, I drew one half of this uh, bug, in, uh, this, uh, Ladybug and he drew the other half. So yeah, we have that. Oh, here's another Coffee with Friends collaboration that I think I did with Hetty. I th I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but yeah, I, I liked this one because um, I really went crazy with the colors. Like I, I used colors that I never used before. Um, I think plenty of people probably recognize this portrait. This was a portrait I did last year, or I think last year, um, and then I did a narrated tutorial of this. Um, this ugly junk here, uh, I don't, I think I shared this on Facebook and Instagram, but this was like just goofing around. So I did the background here with um, watercolor pencils because I, I, I got this, I got this, um, I'm not sure what kind of water paper this is, but um, I wanted to try this watercolor paper out with the watercolor pencils, and it still gets ripply and stuff, and I just don't like it. Um, and then I did this at the beginning of the year. Uh, this is one of my favorite drawings. A lot of people really liked the tutorial for this. I, I think I need to do another colored pencil um, landscape. I think that I think that'd be a good idea, especially a tutorial. Let's see what other else nonsense do we have here? This is just a marker color chart. Here's this drawing here. I think we worked on this one together as well. Oh, I know for sure we did this one. No, Eric, I drew I drew the ring that I bought her. So yes, she got a ring. She has that ring. She wears it every day. Um, uh, this was a project that we, we all worked on during the live stream, coloring. You guys picked the colors and then I colored it. I don't know. Some people had some weird um, recommendations for the color, the, the color choices in this one. I didn't like it. I didn't really like the way this one came out which was unfortunate because I liked the drawing. Um, this is just another color chart. Um, these, this is for the how to draw anime tutorial. So these are just some inked things that I did. Some more stuff here, some hair tutorial, mouth and faces and stuff like that. Uh, proportional chart. I don't know how many of you are a fan of Dave Rubin, but I drew his portrait. Um, oh, you know what? I never shared this drawing. So this, I actually I should I should color this. So this was supposed to be a collaboration piece. I was I colored this and inked it. I mean I, I drew this and inked it, and I was going to ship it uh, for another artist to color. But uh, they uh, they flaked out, and 
Uh, so now I have this this drawing of a grasshopper and uh, I never colored it so I should actually color this I'm gonna leave this out because it should be colored but this is something that I inked I don't almost two years ago I think I'm not even sure when I did this but I'm gonna leave that out so anyway that's some of the that's some of the past drawings over the last year or whatnot so Hopefully that was a little bit more uh, entertaining than uh, just staring at that that bear drawing. Uh, am I going to do an anime course? You know, technically I've already I've already done an uh, um, an anime course. Like the the three part tutorial that I did is everything that I would do. Uh, in a in a course, so it's already available. Uh, so you can learn how to. You can learn the steps that I use to to draw my characters and and whatnot. Got to try to figure out how to get all this stuff back in. I I think that uh, I think that the layer should be dry by now. But yeah, the only reason I grabbed this stuff was to show you the Pokemon, and uh, I think I think we might paint some Pokemon. And what I'll do is I'll show you I'll show you my my taping technique uh, for painting. Uh, even though I've showed it already once before, uh, there was a few people actually asking me about it the past couple weeks. So I figured I would uh, just incorporate that into the, the live stream and I can show you how I do my, my taping and my paint preparation stuff um, by just doing uh, painting a, a few Pokemon or whatever. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away and then I'm going to go grab our, our little apple drawing. Be right back. Let's see here. I have a few little weird speckles that came from the the can. I don't like that. Uh, I'm running out of my first can of the textured fixative. I bought two cans and I'm just about finished with the first can. Mm, let's see. I you know I kind of want to put more black. You know what I I'll do. Let's see, I'm trying to think. I, I want to be done with the background, I really do. But I'm just afraid that it's not as dark as I want. So what I think I what I think I'm gonna do is, is work on the the table here, maybe. I'm contemplating. Let me just put some blender. I'll just put some blender down and go from there. I might need to change the sponge on my little palette knife if it comes off any further. All right, just get rid of that. Smooth out the paper and then uh, I want to I want to do some uh, with this table, but I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna grab whatever brown this is, one seven seven, and let me grab a ruler. All right, now I can. 
put a straight line or a somewhat straight line there now I'm just I pressed quite hard with that line so hopefully it just stays there so I'm just going to add a bunch of this brown here to separate it from the back wall. Hello, Julie. <laughs> Am I using too much of the blender? I, I swear I'm not using that much. I don't feel like... I'll use less. I'll use less and see if it works. <laughs> They, a few people said that that's, uh, that's a lot of blender. Um, it feels like a lifetime supply, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a bit too generous with it. I'll, I'll try to use less and see if I still blend as, as well as I've been blending. <clears throat> I'm, I'm pressing uh, much more firm. I want to I want to cover this table up completely. So I, I'm going to press a bit firmer. I'm getting I'm getting some of the wood from my pencil grinded down. All right. There's that. Let me just, I'm just going to blend that out real quick. Or try to blend it out, see what happens. So it, it's blending very smoothly. There we go. Now I'm going to use some black and darken around the edges. And then also I want to emphasize the shadow the drop shadow from our little apple here. So I'm going to get in there and add the drop shadow. And try to blend it out without moving it too much. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Add some black to this edge over here. And down here. There we go. I think that's about all the layers that we have time for today. So I'm going to spray this after I jump off here. And that's where I will stop. Um, I, won't, I won't play around with this anymore until next Monday. That way, you know, you can see the entire process from beginning to end with this powder blender stuff and get a really good idea of the outcome and all that fun stuff. So let me just, uh, I need to make room. I don't, here we go. All right, so that is going to be it. That's gonna be it for today. Um, thank you all for coming by and hanging out and uh, telling me I'm using too much blender <laughs> and uh, 
just uh, telling me that I can't scream and that my voice is too soft and all those lovely negative comments that you love to leave me. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but seriously, thanks for coming by. Uh, tomorrow I'll have a time lapse of something. Just, you know, be prepared to be surprised. Um, Friday, if you support me over on Patreon, I'll have a mixed medium tutorial using markers and colored pencils. And don't be shocked if we do something very similar to this. I'm going to be doing a still life, so uh, it could be an apple. Probably not. Anyway, I won't do that. Um, and then Saturday, uh, don't forget, Saturday, uh, Anna and I are going to be doing a live stream painting. And also, I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing. It could be Pokemon. It could be something entirely different than that. She has to agree to it as well, so um, I have a couple hurdles to jump over before before figuring out what Saturday's live stream is going to be. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put money on Pokemon. I I want to I want to paint Pokemon. So I don't know what she's going to paint, but I'm going to paint a Pokemon. Anyways. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys Saturday or Friday, depending on if you support me on Patreon. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.